YouTube, here's Heiko again. Um, I wanted to add this to my uh, bandsaw video. I went to Harbor Freight, bought a 14 TPI uh, saw blade, 14 TPI, so 14 teeth per inch, uh, 93 inches long. I think it was around $11, something like that. Don't hold me. Hold it against me if it's wrong. $11, $12, something in that ballpark. So nothing really expensive. It says for soft, non-ferrous metals. Uh, that's the only blade that they had. Um, of course, I can go online and buy myself a designated. Uh, it's a, This one here is a carbon steel blade. And the ones that really cut mild steel or even stainless steel are usually bimetal blades. A um, little bit more expensive. Even Home Depot, you can... Online order those, um, you know, 93 and a half blade, inch blade. Um, usually they have a variable uh, teeth count, somewhere between two, 10 and 14. So the blade is not uniformly the same distance uh, in between the teeth. It's kind of like variable. I don't know exactly what the advantage is. Uh, probably uh, cleanup of, of debris and cleanup of little uh, shavings or whatever. But this one, like I said, it's an $11 blade from Harbor Freight. Um, at the same time, I get this magnetic, nice work light here. Look at this. This is pretty amazing. Six bucks. Anyways, um, and uh, I started it up. Like I said, the, the uh, saw has been slowed down to about 244 feet per minute. And um, here on the, this is the packaging. Super cut made in the US. I like that. 93 inches long. Usually the blade here needs to be 93 and a half, but the adjustment range was just long enough. So uh, 14 teeth pattern, and it says for we're soft non-ferrous metals. Yeah, I'm using it for soft, very ferrous metal, <laughs> mild steel. There's a little bit of explanation back here. And there's also somewhere so um Cutting steel could damage your saw due to the fact that blade spill on most wood cutting bend saws averages 800 to 3500 feet per minute. Is not slow enough. 40 to 200 feet per minute for cutting ferrous metals, i.e. steel. So mine is a little above 200 feet per minute, so I have 244, but I think if I take it easy on the blade and maybe buy myself a little bit more expensive quality, blade it will work let's stop the talking turn the saw on and i'm going to do a one hand don't hold it against me yeah, i know safety first um, but I'll, I'll just want to show you so this is cheap blade 14 teeth per, per inch my converted wood cutting saw Yeah, so it's cutting it. This is mild steel, 8 inch. What is it? Uh, yeah, eight, 8 inch thick. And we're cutting through it. It's actually with a new blade here. It's actually cutting pretty quickly and relatively straight too so I, I didn't really make a big effort here to cut straight but even one-handed i was able to control it and my my uh, little belt set up here you know the top one here is one of those um, kevlar coated belts might have to replace that with just a regular uh, rubberized belt like the one here at the bottom yeah it seems like to be spinning pretty nicely pretty quietly Nothing has uh, fallen off yet, so I guess I um, got all the bolts and nuts tightened up. And yeah, it's working. Uh, the next thing that I probably want to improve up on are those um, blade guides. Uh, those saws usually only have one bearing, and then they have uh, graphite guides from the left and right that you can adjust to pinch against a, a saw blade. And someone has chopped this all up and uh, 
use the bolts that usually hold those graphite sticks and put some bearings on here but you can see it's like two different size bearings and you know i want to make sure that the blade is kind of like a uh, a 90 degree angle to the table and it's running straight it's not like like bent sideways same at the bottom uh, here we go um, yeah I've already filed around and made it a little bit more uh, you know right angle but uh, it's not mounting perfectly straight and I'll see uh, there's aftermarket support for those saws so maybe I can find some new blade guides and um, upgrade this a little bit but in the time for the time being i want to say this is better than nothing i'm going to order myself a 16 dollar uh, metal cutting blade from home depot or amazon or wherever my maybe on my my new favorite web page mac master car very nice place and uh, get myself some some uh, wood cutting stuff uh, steel cutting stuff I guess my new flashlight, Quantum. Two settings. It's perfect. Magnetic base. So you stick it above you here. And I even have a light. It's really nice, actually. Batteries are kind of... Probably 20 people tried this light already in the store. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, I hope you guys like this little video about my bandsaw conversion i know it's not a diy how-to video it's more like what did i do to make this all work and uh, try to achieve it with some standard of quality next thing i'm going to do is um, weld the bolts to the bottom of the motor so when i really have to adjust i don't always have to have two wrenches just the bottom you know um, and so far the shaft hasn't come off I still have to cut down the key a little bit, it's too long, uh, and get another couple of pieces of uh, key because uh, I think this one here needs a key. Uh, I used uh, keys from like lawnmower engines. Uh, they are the same same width, but they are not as tall. So the, the um, surface that the pulley actually grabs to is a little small. And I don't want to damage stuff, so I want to do it properly. Um, I, yeah, I went to Harbor Freight and looked at the same saw. They are still selling this. Definitely quality has gone down. So my steel handles here or cast iron handles uh, are now plastic. Um, the tabletop is, uh, this is cast iron. I think they have a cast aluminum on there. Um, yeah, it has a couple fancy, you know, there's a suction port right down here. I might even be able to do that myself. And then um, the whole belt drive system is different here on the back. But the, the body of the saw is exactly the same. And uh, I bet if I would really need some parts like the belt, uh, no, the saw blade tensioning um, mechanism here, I would still be able to order that through Harbor Freight. Um, and then maybe also those blade guides here. Yeah. yeah, I wonder. Anyways. All right, you guys, uh, take care. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you do like it. Have a good one.